Hey, sometimes you're working on your website and you realize you've got to do a bit of CSS to tinker with it because it just doesn't look absolutely right. Now, if you're comfortable with adding CSS onto your Elementor website or any WordPress website, go ahead. But what I used to do was I used to use a plugin called Site Origin CSS. It's completely free and easy to use. You just, you know, add plugins, get it, install it. What was great about it was you could go to any page on your website, click on any element, and then you could start to basically, as you can see on the screenshot just over here, you could start to like use the fields like font, uh, positioning, margins, padding, whatever. You could do stuff to it and it would then write the code for you. One problem with it though, was that sometimes you click an element and you have to wait for about two, three, four seconds. And then sometimes it gave you loads of like variations. You had to kind of work out, well, is it this bit or this bit or this bit? Now I wanna to talk to you about another plugin that I've been informed about, which I actually think could overtake and become my new favorite. It's Microfema Lite. There is a premium version, but this is free as well. Now, once you've added, and install this onto your WordPress website, you have an option down here called Microfema. I just wanna show you that you do also have a preferences option, and this is where you can start to like uh, personalize how it's working for you. So it asks you, do you wanna regenerate your CSS down here? Um, do you wanna always add important to CSS style? You can even start to define the unit. So do you wanna use pixel, REM, EM, whatever you wanna go for? So this is quite, bespoke in the way it allows you to personalize because you don't get this in site origin CSS. Um, now I'm just gonna go over to Microfema again and this is gonna go over to one of my test website test pages. If you do go to a page um, and it's not the one you wanna be on, if I go over here to where there's a cog in the top right, which I hope you can all see, if I click that, it says page here. And if I click this, I can now go and pick a different page. So let's go to this home one. This is a test website, by the way, okay? So here we have another page. Now I'm just gonna put this back onto say this boxing test page we got. You will have already noticed that when I click on this header, it starts to apply some code. I'm gonna get rid of that because I was messing around earlier. But here's what's really cool. If I go down over here and I click on the image, can you see the code has already started to be generated over here? Now I could add to this code or I could use the tools down here. Now there are some pro, um, there are some features you can't access unless you have the pro version, but I'm really not fussed about that because I will. I do think that a lot of what you get in the free is gonna be so good for you. Now, let's see, I go over to this text over here, right? Let me just go up here. Let's just click that text. That is now activated over there. I might go over now to font and like the family is railway because it pulls through what we've got. The size is 29 pixel. I might go over here and type in a uh, 50 pixel. It goes to 50 or I'm going to put it down to be a uh, five pixel. And now it's hardly ready. You can't even read it to be honest. That was really stupid, wasn't it? There we go. 15 pixel or something like that. Let me just undo that. You can also change the color as well. I might go over here and make it a red. I'm just going to put this back to be white for now. Um, there's so many options down here for you. Look, you can even change the alignment, the word wrapping, the line spacing. Um, I mean, look, there are options here. I could I could start to go through all of them, but text shadow, box shadow, uh, you even have a filter. I mean, this one here is much better for when you have images, basically, if you wanted to start recoloring them. So if I went over here and I then say uh, the contrast, let's make that be a five and I hit return there. Can you see what it's done to the image? Um, not the greatest effect, I know. But if I go back to this text right now, what if I want to add, what if I want to change the way it looks when you hover on it? Well, if you go to the top over here, you have the option for edit selector. If I just click that, we can now go into hover mode. It now has the word hover there. So I'm now, while I'm on this heading at the moment, I'm going to go over to the text and I'm going to say, no, we'll go to the font. And I'm going to say, make the weighting be a 900. Uh, we'll leave it as 29 pixel. I'm going to say, make it be a different color. And I've also clicked on the background and I'm now, at the minute, this has got no color assigned. So I'm going to go over and say, uh, in fact, you know what we'll do? We'll give it a black color. We'll go back to the text, uh, which was over here and we'll change the text. We'll, in fact, we'll make the text be a bright, uh, uh, an aquary blue color, right? So if I now go over here, can you see what's going on? 
And the great bit is, is that it has now applied that code there. You could pick this code up, by the way. You could copy it and stick it somewhere else. Maybe it's in your theme customizer, maybe code snippet, wherever you want to put it. Either way, that code will remain until you deactivate and uninstall uh, the plugins. If I now hit publish on here, there's so much stuff on here you could have done, you know, border as well, uh, spacing. Here you got the padding and margin as well. So while I think I've clicked out of it now, haven't I? If I was, cl if I click onto here, just make sure I'm on, yeah, I'm still on the hover. I might say uh, from the top, give me about uh, 50 uh, pixels from the top there. So look, it moves down as we go down as well. So let me just hit publish for a moment. So I've gone over to the website. We're out of microfema now. And I go, to, well, you can see what's happening. Look, it moves down the weighting, the color, all of that changes. And that is by this free plugin writing the CSS code for us. Believe it or not, but a lot of the videos I do on here where I go, well, do this to do X, Y, Z. I was getting some of the CSS code written for me by site origin CSS. I might now start using microfema because sometimes Site Origin CSS, I was clicking and it would start to affect more than what it was meant to do. And I would have to undo and redo it. And it took longer. Here, this is much more quicker. And um, it understands what I'm clicking and what I'm doing. And I think this could well be my new favorite CSS. And it's free. Yes, there's a premium version, uh, which allows you to do a whole load more. You can see the options down here for what it allows you to do. Okay. But it is free. I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. I'm Imran. I'll see you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the bat. Put me in the ring, you'll go out in a bag. Cause I sing.